Creating a Flutter app without writing Dart code? This may sound rather unlikely, but it's actually possible thanks to a framework called Flat. Flat allows you to create fully functional Flutter apps using the Python programming language. In this video, we create a macOS app that consists of Flutter UI components, which we assemble using Python. We also use Python modules to send a GET request to a fake API and then visualize the results via our UI. If you want to know how this works, stay tuned. Before we start developing the app, we create our free API for testing purposes via mockapi.io. We create a new project and a new resource or endpoint called users for our project. Then we set the number of users to 20 and test the endpoint. I want to visualize the names of the individual users in our app. Now we can start creating our flat app. We create a new folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. Within the project, we open the terminal and enter the following commands to create a virtual environment. This is like a kind of container for our project-related Python dependencies. We activate the virtual environment so that we see the name of the environment as a prefix. With the pip list command, we can see which packages are already installed. It is advisable to always keep pip up to date, so we execute the command pip install upgrade pip. Now we install all Python dependencies. We need flat to create the Flutter apps with Python code, the module requests for HTTP requests, and if you want to extract data from HTML code, I recommend beautiful soup. In our example, we can get the data in form of JSON, so we don't need this package. Next, we need a Python file like main.py. We import flat and rename it to ft. Then we import all the UI components that we need for our app. Under the following link, you will find a list of all available components. Then the requests package for the HTTP requests and the JSON package, which allows us to access individual attributes such as the name of the user more easily. The basic structure of a flat app consists of a function with a page parameter. The app method of the flat module can be used to execute this function using a specific port and thus start our flat app. At the moment, our app only consists of an empty window, so let's add the UI components next. We create an empty text input field with a hint text, we make the text left aligned and we activate autofocus so that the text field is directly selected when the app is started. And then an empty text widget for displaying the results. Next, we add these components to our window by adding them to the page. We create a column with a list and within the list the text input field, an elevated button and the text widget. As you can see, we can either save widgets in a variable first or insert them directly. As we need access to the content of the text input field later, and we will also change the value of our text widget afterwards, we have created variables for both of them. Let's take a look at the app. We see the text input field and our elevated button. Of course, we cannot see the text widget as it is empty. We can also insert UI components without importing them first by accessing the flat module. For example, ft.divider for a horizontal divider line. Last but not least, we need a function that is executed as soon as we click on the elevated button. We name the function scrape, we get the value from the input field and empty it by setting the value to an empty string. We then send a GET request to the desired URL via requests.get and save the response in the response variable. We convert the JSON string into a Python dictionary, in that we call it a map, and we save all the names in the names list. Then we convert the names list into a string with a line break as separator and overwrite the value of the text widget. Then we update the UI with page.update and then we link the function with the onClick event of the button. The app is now ready, let's test it. As you can see, it works perfectly. We have created a fully functional Flutter app using only Python. That was a quick look at the Flat framework. If you want to learn more about Flat, you can find more information in the video description. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Thanks for watching and see you soon.